Alright guys, we are back with another video here with the Galaxy Note 4. I know it's been a while since I've any videos related to the Note 4 but today is a good day. The Galaxy Note 4 which is my model is the SM9 uh, N910C which is the Exynos version has finally received the Marshall update today in my region. So yes, it's finally arrived. I know I think other regions already got it a few weeks ago but Today is the day I got it, so now I can do. Uh, I can show you guys that it's already here, so you can see a software update. So let's just unlock, and it's around. Uh, it took around. Let me see. It's two gigs, so make sure enough space. It's around two gigs, and back up your device as usual, and make sure enough battery as well. So let's just go through the. These are the details that they are stating. So you can see. Oh, sorry, it's 1.5 gigs, not 2 gigs. Um, this is my version number, which shall be updated to. And Android 6.1 Marshmallow, new touchscreen, uh, touchscreen interface, uh, enhancement, so on. Quick connect, fingerprints are more secured. We'll be testing out that later. Advanced power saving mode, okay. New vibration pattern, setting, uh, settings on the reset. Uh, okay, before 6.1 update, I've already done all the the things that need to be done so I'll just skip all through skip this just skip through all these things sometimes we install yeah this one I will settle it myself no problem and that is it so I'm ready to install and if you haven't installed it yet uh, and you're waiting for my review or something you can wait I'll be doing review of this obviously after this so let's go ahead and install this thing install please wait Alright, so you will be rebooting and installing an update. So I think it will take some time. It's, it's a big update. So uh, guys, I'll be right back once the installation is complete. I mean, once the phone is uh, about to boot up. I'll be right back once it does that. So, stay tuned. Alright guys, and the phone just rebooted. And I think it took about 15 minutes, which is kind of fast. And now it's on its upgrade screen. It's uh, optimizing the apps. You can see now it's kind of different. It's greenish. So it's not like one square box in the middle last time when it was on the lollipop. So now it's kind of different, kind of a new kind of animation here as well. It's a bit different and you get your, I'm not sure what is this. There's two dots here, but I think it's just a status, I think. But anyway guys, so it's still upgrade, still optimizing the apps and I'll be fast, forward, fast forwarding to the lock screen. Alright guys, we have done updating the device, so I've already updated, let's see the lock screen is pretty much the same actually, so didn't really change that much, just unlock it, and here we go, this is our home screen, you can see clearly the icons have changed, like the one on the Galaxy S7, so let's just see, uh, go to settings, check the Android version, so about the device, nope, about the device, and you can see around here, there we go, Android version 6.0.1, which is Marshmallow. There we go, we get the Easter egg. And here we go. So you can see we are using the April's Android security patch level. We have a new base uh, build version down here, PE5, for my Note 4. So let's go ahead and see what new things that is added to this Note. Alright, so now let's check out what's new here. So, from what I can see, the touch switch doesn't seem to change uh, compared to the one on the S7. You still get it on O1, unfortunately. But let's see whether we have a theming option. No, we don't have any theming options set. Um, let's just go to settings. We still have flipboard briefing here, but it's, I've turned it off. And set to see if we don't get that theming option. Uh, what else? Uh, let's see the dialer. I think it's the same, yeah, it's the same touch face, but you can see you got a new kind of in, uh, animation there when you close the app, it's like fade out. So, I think it's kind of nice to see the lock screen animation, yeah, it's a fade out animation. Uh, let's check the camera. So, settings, uh, we're still getting the old interface, I can see no changes as well here. All right, now let's move on. Um, I don't even see any new apps added or removed. We still get the same old apps from what I can remember. It's the same one. 
so basically in marshmallow we also get some uh, features like we also get this uh, coconut tab like like this but i haven't set it up yet but it works and we also get the battery dose feature which is already on by default if i'm not mistaken um let's just check uh, battery I don't think there's a way you can toggle that but it should be enabled by default the battery dose dose feature so I don't yeah we can't see it now and we also have app permissions if I'm not mistaken let's just go to uh, see apps I think app settings no no app manager see the bible let's just check um yeah that permissions is new and you can see we have we have allowed three things that this app can access so we can access contacts location and storage so let's say i don't want the bible to access my location so we just turn it off so now you can have full control of each app um let me see uh, let's see all permissions so now you can have a full description of what the apps is gonna do to your phone <laughs> as well pretty nice all right so let's go back so that's one new thing as well all right guys so obviously this is a note device and you want to see whether there are any new features so let's check it out so let's take out the s pen to check whether it has the note 5 feature the screen off memo oh the memo came out accidentally let's just take it out all right so let's call the out the air command and we get the new uh, interface air command interface from the note 5 it's finally on the note 4 very nice so uh, we get the new blurred background interface kind of nice and let me just test whether we get the screen off memo so let's just lock the phone and now we'll just just take out the pen and there we go we get the screen off memo so we can jot down like our notes it's like subscribe or something then save and it should be in your s note so that is very handy i gotta say so let's see what the features so uh, let's try scroll capture let's go to the internet oh by the way this is the new version of the internet browser the samsung browser by gsm arena all right now let's try to take a screen right here right got it and yep we do have scroll capture you can see so let's just press it and it should take a screenshot of the page there we go it took a screenshot and we can capture more capture more until the end of the page which is done done there we go we have your whole your pictures are all stitched together in one line which is very very handy i gotta say one of the best features they put into the note series so i think that's all the new ones new features that i've seen check out smart manager i think this has yeah this is the same one as lollipop uh, let me see yeah it's the same one um yeah pretty much the same uh yeah i think that's about it guys so let's just let's just put the pen back so in my opinion what do i think of this update i gotta say I think you all should update to this version because it really improves um, in the note experience. I mean, if you are, if you want to buy a Note Five, you can't afford it. You obviously you obviously can buy a Note Four, which has the features that it has. I know the specs aren't the best, but it's still pretty fluid. I didn't see any any lag or stuttering. It's very fast, and yeah, this Exynos version is overall very smooth, in my opinion. So. Yeah, anyway guys, uh, that's all for this video, so stay tuned to my channel uh, for more of these Note 4 videos. I'll be doing a, um, a benchmark comparison between Lollipop and uh, Marshmallow for this device, so stay tuned to my channel. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.